not to waste time. And not to be so narrowly focused that we just deal with the symptoms and not the cause. If we are going to truly look at patterns and practice of constitutional violation, we have to go beyond the police department. The police department is, in many ways, the easiest part. We do have to look at who gets arrested. Who gets charged with what? If there's an indictment, who gets indicted? If there's sentencing, who gets what sentence? And I will guarantee you, and I will tell you, there's disparity in that. Add a layer of police on top of that, the disparity sometimes gets greater. And it's not a condemnation of police or policing, it's a condemnation of what we're here for today to talk about where there is a true <coughs> constitutional violation of impairing of practice. And we need to stay focused there. So, again, I appreciate the invitation, I appreciate the uh, discussion we'll have in the next couple of weeks. If I know that the uh, U.S. Attorney Dullabach and myself will take this into consideration as we move forward in our negotiations. So thank you very much.